Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to Ricky Tube 365. So today we're gonna be doing the five things I don't like and the five things I like about the Lear XL100. Let's go. One of those five things that I do like about the Lear XL100, like I mentioned in previous videos, is this part right here, guys. Is the way the company was able to uh, get this part of the uh, of the canopy soft, smooth, you know, with no sharp edges. That's number five. Okay. The number four thing that I really like about uh, this uh, canopy is the weather seal, guys. I don't know if. You can... All right, perfect. So you see the weather seals right there. So this weather seal is on the uh, back window. It's also right here, and it's under the canopy all over around, okay? All over around. Four. So the number three, the third thing that I like about um, about this canopy, the XL100, is not just because that you have two glasses right here, and two pieces, is if you look from the, from the sides, you know, it's just like one nice glass, one nice, beautiful, beautiful glass, and the back glass, guys, actually opens. To, prevent, uh, to provide ventilation. The second uh, thing I like about this canopy, guys, is how, well, in a regular size truck, how easily it's to lock and unlock the mechanism. One of the things that Lear actually offers, uh, I believe, a, a keyless uh, entry. So you'll be able to, with your control of your car, you'll be able to access the back of your truck uh, canopy, which I think is amazing. I think it's it's the greatest thing. You know, I don't have it on my canopy, uh, but yeah, that's one of the things that I've seen at uh, Canopy World in Tacoma that they offer, and uh, you know, I think that it's, it's convenient. Uh, I'm not sure if uh, if it's for me, but I'm just saying I, I like it. And the last thing I like about this canopy, guys, uh, is is how suave the, the, the canopy is when you take a look at the actual truck and whatever truck you put them on, you know. These guys from Lear have done a tremendous, amazing job in designing, uh, perfectioning this actual uh, canopy. So let me show you real quick. Let's go. Okay guys, the same way I brought to you the five things I like about my Lear XL100 right here, I'm gonna bring you the five things I don't like about it. Uh, and this is not me bitching and complaining, maybe just a little bit, but this is me telling Lear, hey guys, this is where I think that you guys should put more attention next time when you go to the next revision. Maybe I don't have the latest or most up-to-date uh, canopy for my uh, Silverado, but I'm gonna show you based on my experience, uh, um, based on the results that I got from my actual product, okay? So let's go, guys. So the the, fifth, the, the, the one thing I don't like about this uh, Lear XL100 is maybe because my bed is too long, maybe because the thing was painted, maybe because it was installed improper. I don't know, but this is the thing I gotta show you guys, okay? So if you see right here, there's a, well, you know, it's painted. There's a gap, and there's a bigger gap right here, and then it goes to a smaller gap, okay? So if you take a look from here, you'll be able to see that it's not uh, perfect, okay? Pretty sure you can see it. I'm gonna bring it to you. It gets closer. Boom, uh, from the other side, let me show you from the other side. So you guys can take a better perspective. That's how it looks, okay? This is the gap, gets closer to the gap and opens the gap. Right here on the back, you can see how uh, it's not 100, you know? It's not 100, okay? So, the issue is, is in both sides. This side is less, it shows less on the other side. You can take a look, you know? Maybe this is some, you know, maybe that happened when it was built, uh, whatever the case may be, okay? That's, that's the fifth thing, okay? Uh, Lear, the logo, okay? Uh, I know you are doing, uh, uh, you know, this is part of your branding and you have to put it right here, but I don't know, it should be, I don't know if this is an option or no, uh, but some for somebody like me with a car, you know, with a truck like this green, I, wa I wanted to take the 4x4 off, 
but I didn't because I have the red with the leer. But I want the whole truck just to be one color. So I don't know if that's, that's an option, but uh, that's just one thing I don't like about it, okay? Uh, uh, the other thing I don't like about this leer uh, XL100 is, I'm gonna take my glasses off and then hopefully this time I just can get from one try to the, onto, to the bed. Let's go. <clears throat> no, it's, it's always the same thing. <sighs> That happened when you leave your truck, you know, 14 inches. Anyway, guys, let's go. Uh, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Three, two, one. Go. I just need to work out more, maybe. So, let me show you guys. Uh, this right here is kind of funny. All right. Let me see. Let me see if I can get better lighting. Uh, better lighting. So, guys, you see this right here. I don't think this. I don't think this right here is, 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 is like premium. I think it could be done a little bit better. You know, that right there. Perfect. Yeah. And I'm talking about this right here. I'm talking about this right here. So guys, the other thing I don't like about about the uh, XL100 guys is that there should be something to cover this uh, this um, brackets right here. Okay. You know, I understand this is for safety purposes. Whatever the case may be, and I got you, but it should be something that comes with the canopy, like from here to strap it, you know? So you don't have this, I mean, this catching to stuff. If you put a mattress here, you're gonna have problems. So if you put, you know, anything inflatable, like maybe tubes to the boat or something, uh, that could be a little bit, you know, problematic, you know? So you have to be, you need to bring your uh, duct tape, whatever the case may be. Uh, it's kind of funny, okay? The other thing is, guys, this right here, this box, this box right here, I know it's every canopy that has it. But God damn it, it's 2018. I'm pretty sure you can come with a, a smaller uh, model electronic device or something. That thing is big, you know? I, I know, I know it's just a, a small amount of space, uh, but I'm saying, guys. And the last thing I don't like about this, the, the canopy is all these wires, you know? Are, are we serious? I mean, come on, guys. Look at, look at this right here, look at this right here. Look at the... Uh, Look at these cables right here, you know? These cables are coming out like, like what the heck? What is this right here? What is this right here? Why? I don't have a better system for this. So I, we need a better system for these guys. So guys out here, if you're watching, this kind of thing you know, needs to be fixed at least. That's what I think about it. So, uh, you know, overall, you got a very solid, very nice product. You know, there's a couple of things that will change, uh, but I'm just freaky too, this is fine, you know, just doing a little video. So anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, uh, if you, uh, you know, take it into consideration to buy one of these XL100, I gotta tell you guys, the product is solid. This is just amazing, amazing product. It's gonna make your truck look good. It's gonna give you that, that gas mileage that you need. It's gonna give you that performance. It's gonna give you the room. It's gonna give you the looks, but there's a couple things that you have to compromise. So you know what? If you have any other questions about this, don't forget guys to tell me. Okay guys, so until then, I know uh, if you have any other questions about this uh, canopy or whatever the case may be, just shoot me a message on my video. Don't forget guys to give me a big thumbs up and then please subscribe to the channel. Uh, I will definitely appreciate that. Until then guys, see you on my next video. Goodbye.